Oh boy, that four pack did not do any favors for the slump I am in. I have not seen a great movie, and I'm talking a great movie, in a while. Um, my screening of Ready Player One has been cancelled. So I'm pretty pissed about that. I've heard that one is just great. Very, very good. But my screening is cancelled. No more 3 o'clock screening. It's okay. I, I will see it this weekend. I will see it probably this weekend or next weekend. I don't know. I'll see it sometime and give that one a review for you guys. Um, maybe I'll do like a Blu-ray DVD hunting video tomorrow. I um, mean, like, I, I got a little bit of cash on me. Let's go and see if we can get... Uh... Some free stuff from the video game store. From the video game store. And, um... Maybe even... A couple things from Cashland. It might go out to Walmart, maybe. But, Tommy Boy. Tommy Boy. This is all about... Tommy. Whose father runs a business... We've seen the story before, his father dies, and now he is trying to save the business, along with David Spade. It's just another version of Black Sheep, in, in a sort of a way. Trying to either save Chris Farley from doing something, or stop Chris Farley from doing something. I just can't stand Chris Farley anymore. The only thing I actually like him in is Billy Madison. No yelling on the boss. Everybody on. Good, great, wonderful. <laughs> that Veronica Vaughn is one nice piece of ace. I know from experience, dude. The only thing that he made me laugh in was Billy Madison. He was in it for a good 5-10 minutes. Maybe not even 10. It might have been 3 or 4. This film is not funny. It's not funny. It's boring beyond all belief except for the first 5-10 minutes. Where I actually laughed. They try and put a little romantic storyline in there, and it just does not work because they don't have chemistry. I don't mind. I don't mind at all. If you put a romantic storyline in there, just make sure they have chemistry. Give them chemistry! God dang it. Help them have a little bit of chemistry. Teach them... How to create chemistry. You can create chemistry for a scene. I've seen that happen on stage. And on film. Where there's no chemistry at all. And magically from one scene to the next. Bam there's chemistry. That director did something. That worked. This film did not do that however. David Spade is just the annoying... Guy, he always plays in these movies. He's either farting in the other movies. He's either farting, screaming, yelling, cursing, or being the very serious sidekick to the other lead stars. Like Chris Farley, who does a lot of screaming and crashing into things and making fun of his weight. Doing his Chris Farley-isms. A few years before Kevin James was doing his Kevin James isms. That's all it is. Tommy Boy, I didn't think it was all that funny. Except for the first. Except for the first five. Uh, five to ten minutes, probably. I'm not going to talk about the acting because my view of a comedy is if you fail to make me laugh, then you have failed your entire movie. If you've made me laugh in a comedy, then I can forgive everything else. I will forgive 
fact that the acting's bad at some points. I will forgive some of the nonsensical aspects to it. But when you can't make me laugh in a comedy, you have failed at your job, Mr. Screenwriter, Mr. Actor, Mr. Director, or Miss, Mrs. It's sad how I find it. Um, it is really sad how I find Amy Schumer funnier than Chris Farley. But I got a little soft spot, a soft spot for Amy Schumer. But sorry about that, guys. I rambled on for a little bit. That's what happens at 1.30 in the morning. You just start rambling and then shit happens. I'm going to give Tommy Boy an F.